getting it together. I can sing it, I can play it, but uh, putting it all together is a little trick. Uh, welcome this morning. Actually, these words, which I attempted to sing so you could hear them, uh, come from the end of Psalm 57, our devotional passage for today. And you've already heard me, um, but verse uh, 9, 10, and 11 say, I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, I will sing unto thee among the nations, for thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, let thy glory be above all the earth. David needed to uh, turn to the Lord uh, when he was in trouble in all kinds of situations. Here in this passage, 57, when he's on the run from Saul and hiding in the cave. And um, this is a good time for us also, not that we're hiding in a cave, but that when we know we need the Lord and we need his help and blessing. And yet David turns to praise. In the midst of need, David turns to praise. And I just can't get over that. Uh, I was challenged uh, about six weeks ago to start a prayer journal. I'd never done that before, and I started out each day, well, most of the days, uh, praying by writing down my prayer uh, to the Lord, and it's been a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for me to stay, start the day right. And I try to start with praise, and by praying praise and praising the Lord for who he is, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, our all-sufficient creator, redeemer. Praising the Lord who he is just frames my whole day in a better way than some other ways that we could start the day. Be exalted, O God. Be over all the earth. He is. When we start praising the Lord, it really reframes our whole attitude, our whole understanding. And we're able to pray to the Lord in a right frame of mind about the uh, earnest requests that we really have. God bless you today as you praise the Lord and see his transforming work, not only in the surroundings and in your situation, but in your own uh, being and how you are transformed. We were created to praise the Lord. Let's live up to that.